Hey guys, welcome back to Growing with Simon, and today I am ready to show you guys my deep water culture. And this is what it looks like from the outside. So let's have a quick look here. So essentially on the outside, what I did was put the piece of cardboard all the way around. That way I can have some tin foil on the inside. And right here I have my uh, pump with the four outlets. And essentially all this is, is a two by six, just like the crack key that I showed you in my uh, other video with a half inch of plywood. And then I have a one by two scrap um, piece of wood to hold the uh, vapor barrier inside. So let's open this up. So on the inside, tin foil all the way around. The lettuce looks fantastic. If I go down a little bit more, you'll see that I uh, did my trick with the uh, three inch neck cups. And on the inside, I have my two inch. So two inch inside the three. Just like so. So I have the, um, the foam. I think it's called extruded foam. Anyways, it's the stuff that uh, doesn't break down that kind of looks like styrofoam. And if we open this up in here, I got four water stones going. And I put this rope here to hold the, uh, the star foam up. Originally, I had this floating inside the system, but I was having some issue with uh, root rot. So I decided to kind of do a, uh, a hybrid cracky system with aerated water. And the stuff is actually growing a lot faster than my setup with just a cracky. So yes, the air and the water makes a big difference. And if you look at my roots, they look very healthy. So my lettuce is growing just great. Also, I forgot to tell you, the inside here is the vapor barrier. Same thing as in the cracky. I have two layers of vapor barrier. And the only difference that I made is inside the corners. So right in the corner here, I used um, aquarium grade silicone just to seal that corner up because that's where I did the uh, the hospital fold uh, to make the, um, the foam or the plastic look nice and the water in the crack key that I did before got inside and it got a little bit gross. So now I just caulk the edges that way the water doesn't go inside. Also here I was able to use scrap metal just cut this you know an inch thick and I can put my cardboard on here. So for my door the way I did it just a small piece of cardboard here in the middle, I also have a very small piece of cardboard and at the end. That way, when I use my door, it just goes just like so. And I use those uh, paper clips to hold the door closed. And this works great. Also, the light that I use, it is the Vipar Spectra P1000. It is fantastic and it is covering this two by three deep water culture bed very well. The middle here is about 17 DLI that I have it set up. And on the sides here, it's about 14. So it's not that bad of a difference. Um, as you can tell, the middle ones are growing a little bit more, but I just switch them around as they grow. So yeah, so that is my setup. Yeah, these uh, pots here are empty. They're just there to block the light from, uh, from hitting the water, not to grow some algae. So if you need anything, um, for this grow, it's all on Amazon. In my description, I have a link of everything that I use, um, even the link to this light, which is fantastic. I would, uh, it's the only thing that I use. So I got one here, and also have one here. Um, and these are, just so you guys know out of curiosity, these are my test plants. So I got the basil going, and over here I have my Swiss chard, which is actually growing really good. And I'm doing a time lapse for that for you guys for a future video. But yeah, so uh, if you have any questions, comments below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.